Table Mountain is one of the seven wonders of the world and it could play a key role in warning off a domestic disaster. Inside the mountain range is an aquifer group estimated to hold billions of cubic feet of water. Cape Town is planning to tap into it to mitigate against the effects of the ongoing drought. There are a couple of advantages of the Table Mountain Group Aquifer, um, its size and extent and the fact that those hard resistant rocks also form our key mountainous areas which are also our water source areas and the high mountainous areas get the highest rainfall in the Western Cape as well. So that's the recharge zone for the aquifer. Exploration boils have already been drilled and some experts are confident it's time to move into the production phase. However, that could take months and it's not certain that the water extracted will be a sustainable supply. At the moment the yields don't look particularly high, uh, but that might change as more and more drilling takes place. Um, what we are of course hoping that there's a sustainable approach to this and there is at this stage a claim to be as much that water monitoring will occur in terms of the recharge rate uh, of that aquifer because that's crucial. We can't take out more than what is coming into that system. It's also not clear what the impact on the Table Mountain National Park and its flora and fauna will be. There are concerns um, and certainly a lot of our springs and streams that occur within the Fainbos biome um, are really critical to the high level of biodiversity that we have in Fainbos in the Western Cape. So there's still a lot of groundwork to be done before the Table Mountain aquifer begins to ease the effects of the drought. But the water's importance as a resource is underscored by climate change forecasts, which show dry weather conditions will persist in the future. They're calling this the mother of all droughts, and Cape Town is continuing to sail into uncharted waters. But many believe it will also foster a change in the behavior of water users, who now realize just how finite a resource it is. That was Andrew CGTN, Cape Town.